Yeah, I got, got it right here. Christine taking care of me again. Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome to a regularly scheduled meeting of the Penfield Zoning Board of Appeals. Uh, this meeting is being video recorded and also broadcast live on the Town of Penfield's website, www.penfield.org, on the Town of Penfield's Government Access Channel 1303, and on streaming media devices Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. You may search Penfield TV in your device's app store, get the app, and you should know it is free. Uh, during the meeting tonight, the public hearing portion of the meeting, there's going to be an opportunity for public participation on each matter. After the board has finished its questions of the applicant and uh, responded to the applicant's presentation. So uh, folks that are present will be able to come up to the uh, table as the applicant will give us name and address and then ask questions or express concerns to the board. Um, also, people are allowed to call and do the same thing, 340-8771, phone in with questions or comments, and then additionally, uh, submit electronic comments versus, versus uh, in the uh, same manner on the Town of Penfield website, penfield.org. Org. Um, so uh, tonight's uh, after tonight's meeting will take place in two parts. The first part is going to be a work session uh, where we'll take care of uh, voting on the minutes from last meeting and any table matters we may have, and then we'll go right into the public hearings. As I said, we'll ask the applicant to come up, and uh, the board member assigned to the, to the application will walk <coughs> the applicant through the process. Um, we like to point out every month that we think the town does a really good job of making sure that residents and other members of the community are aware of what our agenda is and the town does that so people can come in and speak their mind about the application. The town does that in several manners. One is to uh, notify uh, people via postcard. So with people that own property within a certain number of feet of the applicant property will get a postcard saying, hey, this matter is on to be heard, and if they want to come, they can come or send in a note or uh, make a phone call. Um, the town also publishes the agenda on the website, posts it here at the town hall, um, and then perhaps most visible is the sign, sort of shaped like a for sale sign that the town requires applicants to put up on the property. So when you're driving by, you can see that as well. Oh, okay, we have a relatively short agenda, so we'll get uh, to that tonight. Uh, I don't think I missed anything, but before we get into the meeting, I'd ask everyone to rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, all right, thank you, everybody. Let's, uh, I'm sort of agenda list here, hard copy agenda list. So I believe the first item for consideration is a minutes from last meeting. I'll move to approve as written. Second. All right, so we have a motion to approve the minutes as written and a second. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, tabled matters, if I'm understanding correctly, we're still waiting, as is the applicant, uh, for action by the planning board. Yes. And the planning board probably would say they're waiting on information from the applicant. Yes. Sort of like the cart and the horse then, huh, Andy? Yes. Okay. Very good. So given that, I will make a motion to table the 1676 Penfield Road application. I'll second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, turning to tonight's agenda, item number one, uh, is that, has that been withdrawn or is it just gonna be? Yeah, the applicant uh, chose to withdraw that application. 
Okay, but we expect to see them at our next meeting whenever that might be. Yep, they're gonna reapply with a new application. Very good. Okay, so we'll just consider that taken off. So number two is, um, I guess the Wegmans Plaza. Is, do we have somebody virtual, appearing virtual on that? Yes. I'm getting a nod, okay, great. So uh, why don't you uh, read the application and we'll begin. <clears throat> David Wolmering, Wolmering Wireless Incorporated, 2157 Penfield Road, <coughs> Penfield, New York, 14526. Requests approval for a special permit for signage under section 250-10.3-A of the code to allow a larger building mounted sign than permitted under section 250-10.13-B of the code at 2157 Penfield Road. The property is currently or formerly owned by Wegmans Food Markets Incorporated and is zoned general business. SBL number 139.02-1-2.3. This is application number 23Z-0062. Great. Uh, okay, thank you. And if we may have your name and address for the record and then uh, Laura will walk you through the application. Hey, good evening, everybody. Um, my name is uh, David Wolmering. I'm the president of Wolmering Wireless Incorporated. Um, been in uh, business in Penfield for the past 21 years. Uh, previously, we were over in the Penn Fair Plaza. And been there 21 years, and then the, uh, that plaza has evolved. Um, it's kind of turned into a little bit more of a medical plaza. Um, we decided to move across uh, the, the road to the Wegmans Plaza. And I'm uh, in the store with myself with uh, my son. Well, thanks so much for uh, that that background, David, and for submitting your application. I'm very familiar with the plaza that you're moving into and the plaza that you're moving from. Uh, just, you know, had a chance to look through the application. Um, you know, I think your request, if I've done my math correctly, is approximately you know 57 percent larger than what the code would allow. Um, can you maybe just give a little bit of background on why you are requesting such a large variance? Uh, absolutely. Um, how it works is and kind of explain this uh, to the board is I'm part of the, the wireless zone franchise and uh, we represent Verizon and only Verizon and part of the uh, having the sign and such designed and such is something I have to uh, have Verizon does it they're very concerned you know about their brand I have to get to the uh, location in the first place approved before I can you know even approach, you know, Wegmans with the lease or anything. Um, so what they saw and what their company that does their signs nationwide was that there, there was really no road signage or like a listing or anything from the plaza on the road that can be seen. And it's really the, the main concern to make it larger was so it could get a little more visibility from the road. Um, is, you know, the plaza is set back pretty far from 441, and they just wanted to see if they can, you know, we could be seen, uh, we'd be seen a little better. Um, you mentioned that you were at Penn Fair Plaza before. I don't believe, it, there was no road sign for correct. that either, correct? In your previous location? Uh, yeah, they have a li they have, They had the, the signage yeah, they there? they have a listing. If, I don't if remember. Would, yeah, on 441 in Town Line Road, you, you'd see a listing of the different uh, uh, companies in the plaza. And is this the same sign that you were using from Penn Fair to this plaza, or is this a brand new sign that you, you're getting? Oh, no, this is, this is a brand new sign. Um, this is much wider. Um, to be perfectly honest, I'd love to used my old one but it, it just would have been way way too small it was way too you know i'll i'll be honest i think that the request for 50 57 percent 
larger than what's requested is a big, big exception. I'm looking at, um, as part of these renderings, and I don't know, Andy, if you see it, I remember the, the Weight Watcher sign that's there, and I think that that was pretty visible, and that was within code. I think that there are some other signs in the area as well. Andy did some, some research and pulled that. We've never granted a variance that large before. So there's a few others in the area that have requested variances. There's only one, the pet supply, which is right next door, added that grooming and wash. And when they added that grooming and wash, it did increase their overall signage. Um, and I think it was by like 30%. Um, it, it, is there an opportunity, and I'm pretty sure if you pull open you know, the Weight Watchers that was within code, I'm pretty sure. Um, and that was pretty visible. Verizon is a very well-known brand. I, is there an opportunity to go smaller than what you've requested? Of course, yes. I, you know, we want to be good citizens and whatever. Uh, if it had to be a little smaller, I'm sure I could take that to them. What do you guys think? I think that was a good question and a good answer. <laughs> you know, I, do you mind if I ask a question? Go for it. Do you, do you, uh, do you have any objective analysis uh, as to what size sign you need to accomplish your purpose? Or did you just kind of figure, based upon your years of experience, that the size you're proposing would do the trick? Well, that's the thing. The, the, I didn't design the sign or really do the sign. The sign company was the one that first came. To the, you know, they, they do this. Um, that, that's kind of their job that sure. they perform. Um, so I'm trying to, you know, I'm a little bit of the man in the middle. I don't really even have right. the, you know, the exact schematics or what they would uh, try to do. It, it came to light that it was larger than you'd like. And um, yeah. I haven't had a chance to appeal it and ask. And that's why I'm here to do that tonight. All right. Well, that, that, that's fair enough. So the, the variance that Laura has cited, um, do we know the percentage of that, Andy? I'm just wondering if we were to consider granting the same variance that we did before, you know, what size sign would that give him? Unfortunately, I didn't calculate the okay. percentage. Fair enough. Um, Meaning that the, so out of the ones that you provided? My calculation, which I would want somebody to double check my <laughs> I only work in finance, um, is the pet supplies one. I was calculating that to be closer to a 30% variance. So let's say that the math from the finance person is correct. <laughs> Don't. That's a big assumption. What, what, what square footage does that allow the uh, Come on, on I, I remember being told that was only about each letter was only about four inches taller than the um, you know what what met code. Well, uh, seeing that it's all those letters combined, I guess it's yeah. It works out to a square footage is, is really what it comes down to. So your your building front is so wide, and that much frontage equates to so much square footage. So I think you're allowed, based on the, your store frontage, you're allowed 54 and a half. And you were asking for a sign that was 85, just over, uh, just over 85 square feet. Okay. So you so were looking for a variance of about 31 square feet. So 54 and a half times 130 percent. Let's be closer to 70. Yeah. And if I'm looking at it, the one like, that you yeah, granted. Like 30, 32%. Yeah, it's like 71 feet. I used it on my Verizon phone, by the way, my calculator. <laughs> but I would want somebody to double check. 
<laughs> the pet supplies. So, uh, <laughs> so if we were to stay within what the plaza, we've granted that plaza before, that it would be closer to 70, 70 square feet. 70, yep. To stay within keeping. Right. And just to be, I just want my, my math, the other variances that have been granted, the maximum allowed was 110, and the overall was granted at 140. So about a 30 square foot variance on the other one. For the so pet supply. That's, yeah. That's where I was coming up with those numbers. And that was also just it for a case study that they had also asked for something larger and that was approved as something smaller as well. So are you good with 70 square feet? Or do you need to bring it back to Verizon? Or or? Need, yeah. I think that's a good compromise, yeah. I think I could take that back and that'd be, you know, that'd be positive. Great and it'd work. be fair because it's the same thing you did for the neighbors, so. All right. Okay, I will, uh, th thank you. I will um, check and I don't see any comments submitted electronically. Um, I don't see any uh, phone, anybody waiting on the phone no to phone. issue a comment either. So I'll invite anyone in this vast audience <laughs> uh, to come up and speak about the application if they uh, choose to do so. All right, we don't ha have anyone that wants to speak, so let's move forward with the consideration of the amended application, which is now for a 15 and a half foot larger sign. Is that math right, 54 and a half to 70? Well, whatever the math well, is. It's going to be a 70 16. square foot sign ultimately. Uh, yeah. Correct. Yeah, 70. Okay. Yeah. And let's maybe start with Seeker. Absolutely. Okay. So um, I would make a motion that this request is unlisted action pursuant to Seeker. And also issue a, a negative a declaration. declaration. And a negative. Yes. Yeah. I'll second that motion. <laughs> Any further discussion on the Seeker motion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, now on the merits of the new amended application. So for the amended application of a total square footage of 70, I make a motion to approve. Um, there is a valid request here to make the sign a little bit larger. There is a setback. There is no additional kind of uh, road sign. Uh, this is consistent for that plaza, that there are a lot of other signs. I think that it falls within the same character. Um, it, so if I'm going through this, uh, it is uh, it is at a reasonable location. It doesn't create any type of hazard. Um, there is applicable signage, uh, is adequate to identify the business, yes. So based on those reasons, I would make a motion to approve. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion uh, to approve by Laura, second by Andres. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you for your flexibility and good luck to you. Okay, well I appreciate the, the board's time and I appreciate your consideration tonight. So thank you. Have a good night. Thanks. You too. Okay, next application, please. Uh, I love how Andy waits for that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. I don't want to rush it. I, I like to pause for the dramatic effect, you know? Andy's sitting there saying, God, do I got to wake him up again? Or, you know, what's going to happen? <laughs> okay, we're ready now. <laughs> yeah, yes, I'm done. If that, that's what you're asking, yes. Oksana and Stephen Fedick, 18 Hunters, Hunters Drive North, Fairport, New York, 14450. Request approval for an area variance under section 250-14.3 of the code to allow a single family residence with less front setback than required under section 250-5.1-F1 of the code at 41 Seton Court. 
The property is currently or formerly owned by FedEx Builders Incorporated and is zoned R-1-20, SBL number 109.13-3-62. This is application number 23Z-0063. Okay, may we have your names and address for the record and then uh, Matt will walk you through the application, which is... Good evening, uh, Stephen Fedick and my wife, Oksana Fedick. Okay, and your address? Is 1800 Drive North. There you go. Okay. All right, good evening. So you're looking for a 10-foot a, a variance on the front setback of your property so you can build the your house uh, 40 feet from the setback when it's supposed to be 50 feet. Is that in a nutshell? Uh, yes, that's exactly correct. However, Matt, um, the 40-foot setback would just apply to the garage. It, it, it's your front setback, right? Sure. So the front wall of the garage would be at 40. However, the body of the house jogs in probably about 12 to 15 feet further in so that so the house would be within code, but the garage would not be. Yeah, okay. and our premise on it is we're trying to um, align with the home to the right of us, which is the lot 11. And on that one, we did receive a variance. We built it at a 40 foot front setback. So therefore, our application would align our front garage wall with the front wall of lot 11, the one on the right. And then going to the property on the left, lot 61, we would be pretty much in even alignment, maybe even back a little further than the front wall of 61. See, we don't want to create it where the home we want to build would set much further back than the house um, on lot 61 on the left. That makes sense. <laughs> so it's going to be more aesthetically pleasing to passerbys, to passers, passers by, uh, to <clears throat> have it at a forty-foot setback instead of a fifty-foot setback. Correct. Right. Okay. Yes. Are, are you going to do anything crazy with with this house? Are you going to have like fireworks going off every time someone pulls in the driveway? <laughs> or are you going to have uh, like some crazy colors to the house? No. Okay. No. Pretty much. Um, you know, meat. It's, it, it'll fit right into the neighborhood. We, we did build the homes um, right around it, so it'll fit right in. So it's got to fit within the, within the what the, the rest of the houses in that area look like? Yes. Okay. And, and I, do you have to, I know that there's a lot of trees and, and things on the, uh, on the property. You're not going to have to remove any of those for the purposes of, of the setback, are you? Uh, you know, probably about a month ago, we've taken, there were a lot of ash trees there. Sure. And a lot of them uh, were dying, and some of them fell over. Um, one of them actually fell on one of the neighbor's property. So about a month ago, maybe two months ago, we cleaned it all up. Okay. We took out all the dead trees and mulched it and everything. So, yeah, all the dead trees are so, but you, but this variance isn't going to cause you to have to take out more trees. That's, oh that's no, not at all. Okay. No, I have no I have no further questions. Okay, any other board questions? Uh, I do not see anybody that's waiting on the phone to make a comment, nor do I see any uh, electronic submissions. So I will ask if there is anyone in the audience that cares to speak about this. The answer is no, so let's move <laughs> to the consideration, starting with Seeker. All right. For Seeker, I would make a motion to declare this a type two action requiring no further review. Second. All right. Matt. George. George. I'm sorry. Yeah, Matt and George. All right. So we have a motion on the Seeker and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And now on the merits? The merits, I would make a motion to approve this. Um, it, it's... It, it, it's not going to be a detriment to the character uh, of the neighborhood. It, it, it's clearly going to be built uh, in the same form and fashion uh, as the remaining houses in the neighborhood. Um, it, it's uh, because of the shape of the lot and because of the way the other houses are. Um, it, 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 I don't. I personally don't think it probably would look good if it was at a 50 set foot setback. So I understand why they're they're requesting it. Um, it, I actually would say it's substantial. Um, it, it's 
10 feet out of out of 50 feet, but I, I think the rest of the factors outweigh that. Um, it's not going to have any negative impact on the physical or environmental conditions of the neighborhood. And it is self-created, but um, again, I, I think that the remaining factors outweigh that. So I, I would make a motion to approve. I'll second. All right, we have a motion to approve for the reasons stated uh, uh, by Matt and a second by Andres. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, well, there you go. Much. You're welcome. Good seeing you, by the way. Good seeing you. Anyway, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Take care. We were right. both uh, a lot younger probably the last time you were here. <laughs> time goes by too fast. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Bye-bye now. All right, so... Um, that's it for the applications tonight. So uh, thank you all. Great work as always, and we will stand adjourned until our next scheduled meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.